It's obviously very difficult for me to say with it you know, true certainty what happens with this bear. I have to go on sort of what is the likelihood or the probability of. The likelihood that this bear on its own managed to get to Central Park is highly unlikely. I think in a situation like this, it's unfortunate where someone was probably keeping this bear as a pet, which is illegal, and wanted to get rid of it. And so there's this tendency for humans to think, I'll return them to an area that seems natural for bears. Now, clearly we all know that Central Park is not the natural habitat of any bear, but just like people with big snakes in, in Florida return them to the Everglades, although you know that's not their home. In a situation like that, whether the bear got there alive or, and, and was then killed when it was in Central Park by other predators or it was hit by something, um, that remains to be be seen. But I think that this is an incident where someone was keeping this bear as a pet and didn't want to be found out or couldn't manage it anymore and wanted to get rid of it. And so they went to Central Park. You would expect that at a time like this when hibernation is going on that bears would possibly wander into areas where there are people. In this specific case, um, I don't believe that it's possible as agile as bears are for a bear to have gotten from probably its nearest natural habitat, let's say over a little over an hour away, crossing bridges, going through tunnels and ending up in a place like Central Park. I think that's really highly unlikely.